Hi guys and welcome back. We're so glad you're here watching this third and final part of our recent family getaway. In this episode, we take you to a very special place where the tropical rainforest meets the reef and we dive some incredible caves. Plus a little more fun before we head home to Uki. Welcome to Marine Biology School with Arlo. Good morning. Yeah, that's a beautiful sunrise, isn't it? Um, plans to change here for the crew a little bit, so we're just going to stay an extra day. And today we really hope we can get out and go film these beautiful swim throws. Um, hopefully they are protected from this weather enough. Um, if they are, it's, it's just, it's a stunning spot. And yeah, we really want to show you guys that. Uh, we just had an epic day yesterday, it was so cool. We got out to that island and just chilled. The kids just had so many different things going on. We got in the water a little bit, had the kids out there snorkeling, just everyone um, had such a good time. There's really something special about that island and knowing now that it's protected just makes it even more, more special. So yeah, that's the plan. So hopefully this very large cloud just moves because <laughs> that's where we want to go today. But that's what it looked like yesterday. So we'll see how we go. All right. We have some brekkie, kids. Breakfast time. Oh, look at that sunrise. That's epic. Let's go have some breakfast. Yeah, we're headed out to go to some swim throughs. We've wanted to show you guys this place. Um, last time we were here and we didn't get a chance. So um, now the sun's come out a little bit. We're going to see. <laughs> Five days in steering in wet weather and your rashi hasn't seen the sun. It's disgusting. <laughs> you didn't need to throw it on me. All you need to hear is a croc skin bikini. A croc skin bikini. That doesn't give me the vibes I'm looking for. Apparently there's a crocodile somewhere here. Oh, the joys of anchoring on shallow reef. Yeah. You want to do it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. And then a stern line. Yeah. Good captain. <laughs> this looks a bit dubious, but. <laughs>
What you doing? Are you helping Daddy fix his spear gun? Feel Daddy do all the time. I want to cut. I want to cuddle before I go for my big shoot. Big strong one. Oh, thank you. What what fish do you want Daddy to shoot? I want pink. A what? Pink fish. A what? Pink fish. A pink fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's silly. What about? And what other fish? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what are you gonna do while I'm away? Go on the beach. Oh, okay. Is that what you're gonna do? Okay. You say bye bye to daddy. Bye bye, daddy. I love you, Philly. Love you, daddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a dry rashi. <laughs> Happiness is usually happens about once every twelve times I get water. All right. We've just tucked back inside the island because that was some pretty crazy. Conditions. That was really, really rough. We had big swell running, we had squalls coming through, current running, but the proof is in the pudding. We've got four very, very nice tournaments. Um, so, yeah, stoked with the outcome, but I'm borderline not feeling very well. So, <laughs> time to go home and have a cup of coffee, I think. The boat is over there. Oh. What fish do you think they caught? I don't know. We're going to wait and see, don't we? Yeah. Let's go out and see now. Where's the boat now? Now it's moved. Where? Yeah. How close? Up. Now it's, it's lower. It's, it's a bit closer to the jetty. Okay. All right, go. What are they in language, bro? Malagori. Huh? Malagori. Malagori. <laughs> oh my eye. People taking bucket first. Philly should be going down for a nap, but I think she's too excited. The boy's just com coming home. <laughs> Whoa, Philly, look at those big fish. You can help carry them, mate, but you won't be able to carry them by yourself. What Not color is it? Red. Red. And then there's a... Aren't they all arms or what? No. All right. They're called Malagori. They're called Chinamen. All right. Why are they called Chinamen? It's one of those common names. The red one. You can't eat them in Oz. It's one of the few places in the world you can eat them. Because there's no cicatera here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So they've got tails as well. Yeah. So are you going to rest this afternoon? No, I'm going to take you out shooting so I can get some small fish for the kids. <laughs> they are massive. That's a big fish. Wow, wow it's a beautiful one, Daddy. Very good, big, beautiful Danima. fish, hey? Ooh, Thank you, kids. Thank you, Mr. Fish. That's what's called selective harvesting. Because we want to be grateful for the fish we take, hey? It doesn't get more selective. They're beautiful fish, and they're going to feed a lot of people. Aren't they? Yep. Quite a few days. <laughs> but quite a long time. By smoking through way. If you've been watching our videos from the start, you will have noticed that we share stories of spearfishing, but also conservation messages like our recent shark video. It may seem confusing or contradictory. Why stand up for one species and kill another, if we're such ocean lovers? Well, the answer to that question is rather complex, but a few simple facts might help to keep things in focus. Fish is one of the primary food sources here in the Solomon Islands, and yes, we eat fish a couple of times per week at most. But we are definitely not the blood-hungry spirotypes, and on every single occasion, we only take what we need from the ocean. 
we are selective in the fish we choose to harvest, we genuinely respect marine protected areas and we are lucky to have some very healthy fish populations in our area. On this channel, we hope to portray our actions and our values the way they exist in our lives. We are thankful for the fish we catch and teaching our kids to appreciate a fish in this way is very important to us. We expect that we may not agree with everyone and that's okay. We would really love to hear from you in the comments below on this particular topic. Okay, run to rainbow dance. The double rainbow! Check it out! That's cool, man! Double rainbow! That looks insane! Back to the boom. Yeah. Uh, because if we're famous, because the stars already know what our name is, and it's starting to align, we'll be lighting up the night. Nobody gonna tame us. No fear, we ain't scared of danger. So give it your best try. Can nobody stop us this time? So I'ma let my chest pop out just a little. I'm headed to the top, can't stop in the middle. We are on the rise. So keep watching the skies. We don't need a night like this. We are already glowing in your lifetime. No one's ever shown you what we're showing tonight. Watch your young eyes light up the night sky. We ain't even scared of the monsters in our cars that's been made up. We ain't had an out tonight. Watch your young eyes light up the night sky. We the kings and the queens, yeah. And the kingdom's ours tonight. No, we won't be pushed aside. Nobody who's seen us can stay a doubt or we'll turn them to believe us. Don't even try to deny. Cause we're young, wild, and alive. So I'ma let my chest poke out just a little. I'm headed to the top, can't stop in the middle. We are on the rise. So keep watching the skies. We don't need a night like this. We are already glowing in your lifetime. No one's ever shown you what we're showing tonight. Watch your young eyes light up the night sky. We ain't even scared of the monsters in our cars that's been made up. We ain't had a night tonight. Watch your young eyes light up the night sky. I'm not exactly sure when this happened. I've just found this sneaky little video, but it seems that wherever Arlo goes, he finds some level of happiness in collecting rubbish and putting it in the bin where it's supposed to be. He also somehow has a magical power that makes others want to help him do it. Bombies. Did he oh, swim yeah. through the bomby? Yeah. Oh, he's tricky. There's a little crab on that enemy too. Oh, look at all those faraway blankets. <laughs> There's an in a in a black one. In a black one. Oh, look at all those spiral blankets. Look at the Yes, that is the Latin name, Arlo. You spend um, a lot of time talking about this stuff with your nana, don't you? Oh, there's a bit of a sick clam, but there's two. Yeah, the clam, he's shedding a bit of zooxanthella, isn't he? A bit of his algae. There's Sometimes they do that though, that's there. okay. Two yep. crayfish. See the bummy over there? There's oh, two there is crayfish. two crayfish. Wow, a clam, two crayfish. Can you say spirobranchus? Spirobranchus. Good girl, spirobranchus. 
add that one to the vocab. <laughs> what? What do you call it? Spirobrachis gigantis. That's right, <laughs> Spirobrachis gigantis. <laughs> oh. Welcome, welcome to Marine Biology School with Harlow. Mommy, that's a big pink one. Wow. Um, we're packing up today. We're heading home. So. Last one for holding the leg. Not house. Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze him good, yeah. Who's it, Oopy? Papa. Oh, are you going to give them big cuddles? Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's... Run! Ah! I'm hiding this so nothing is left. Bye! Let's get going to burn the tree. Let's get going to burn the tree.